Hi everyone, Jeff and Meredith here. We're here to talk to you about some international rotations that the Purdue College of Pharmacy has to offer. If you're considering pursuing a PharmD, international rotations or rotations outside of the continental U.S. are a great way to experience the practice of pharmacy in a different culture. Purdue offers many different international rotations. I know I chose to do my four-week rotation in Juneau, Alaska this last summer. So Jeff, why did you choose to partake in this international rotation opportunity? You know, I think it was really for two reasons. The first being, I realized that I would never have the opportunity to go to Alaska for four weeks again in my life. And then the second being, they have a really unique patient population out there. I realized that I would go ahead and be able to develop this into my practice, and this was something that I just wouldn't be able to get to do while I was here in Indiana or the, United, or the continental part of the United States. Very nice. So what do you remember most about this experience? There's a few things that really come to my head, and the first being always is the patients, the people I got to interact with. I had a lot of really positive conversations with people, and I got to see people go from being this really scared and timid person about you know, their disease state to growing really confident and asking all the right questions and really realizing that they're going to take this thing by the reins and control their own life. The second being that I got to go and see a bunch of different sites. I was able to go whale watching, um, I would be able to go hiking, as well as you know, just touring the city of Juneau and all the history that was there was really special to me. Those sound like really cool experiences. So I chose to go to Bethel, Alaska and Medellin, Colombia in South America. Wow, those are pretty neat places. Why did you choose those two specifically? So I chose Colombia because I sort of have a passion for Latin American culture and the Spanish language. and. I thought, what better way to continue pursuing this interest than practicing my other passion, pharmacy, while down there. As far as Bethel goes in Alaska, I really like new experiences. I thought comparing and contrasting these two different cultures would really bring a nice, well-rounded um, practice to uh, my pharmacy experience. Awesome. Well, I know when I was in Juneau, I had the opportunity to take on different priorities and duties than most students normally would have. I was wondering, how did you do this during your rotation? So what comes to mind is Bethel specifically because it's out in the Yukon Delta region of Alaska, so this is pretty sparsely populated. Bethel is like a healthcare hub for about 56 surrounding villages. People will fly in from all over. Um, so this also goes hand in hand with sometimes having a low amount of healthcare providers. This leaves a lot of opportunities for students to kind of step up and take on some more responsibility. So I was able to help develop a policy and procedure for chronic pain management. I worked between medical teams and behavioral health to kind of put this together, and I'm not sure that's something I would have been able to do elsewhere, so it was a really good experience. Yeah, that seems like a really advanced opportunity that you have. And as you kind of mentioned, you have this really big love for the Hispanic culture and the Spanish language. I was wondering how were you able to take that passion and then also mix it you know, with this field of pharmacy and healthcare that you have. Yeah, so I sort of had an idea about my own personal ideas about how I thought the Spanish culture would be, but going into Colombia and seeing how it was in healthcare versus maybe on my travels on the weekends was really cool to again compare and contrast those different experiences to help bring you know my complete picture to what uh, Latin America kind of is, and again between different countries too. So. As a Purdue Pharmacy student, you have 10 rotations that are four weeks long each. I was wondering, did you do anything differently to prepare for you know, your international or your non-continental rotations than you would for something else? Yeah, so our normal rotations, you're able to ask your preceptor what sort of literature or guidelines you should brush up on. So I was able to do that for Alaska, but for um, Columbia specifically, I wasn't sure who my preceptors would be down there, so I wasn't quite sure what to brush up on. So um, what I did, I kind of just tossed on Spanish subtitles to Netflix. I maybe flipped through a couple pages of some Spanish books I have from other study abroad experiences. But that was my first rotation in May, so that's going to be a learning curve regardless. Definitely. So on the other hand, how did your rotation help you grow personally and professionally? Well, looking at it personally, I think I grew a lot because I did a lot of self-reflecting. And I got to really find out and reinsure 
why I really want to pursue a career that's very patient-focused and patient-centered. And when looking at it professionally, I noticed myself becoming a lot more confident while I was in Alaska. This was in the middle of my rotations, and I had the opportunity to experience um, talking to different nurses, nurse practitioners, other providers, um, and that really allowed me to go ahead and become this overall better practitioner, and it helped me later in my other rotations. Sounds like a really cool journey. So we have enjoyed our time abroad learning and growing in the profession of pharmacy, and we hope the same for you. Thanks for joining us today, everyone. If you, want, if you have any other questions or want to find out more information, visit us at purdue.edu slash pharmacy.